Addition of fractions. Adding fractions is very easy. You have to remember just one thing. The denominators always must be the same. Let's take a hexagon as our example. Each piece is one sixth of the hexagon. So, four pieces will be four sixths of the hexagon. Let's try and add one sixth and four over six. Hmm, it would be five. Five over six. So, one sixth plus four sixths equals five sixths. Wasn't it easy? I'm sure that you noticed that we are just adding the numerators. But we have to make sure that the denominators must be the same. Let's look at one more example quickly. Take a pizza with 8 slices. One piece is 1 eighth. And 5 pieces is 5 eighth. Let's add the 2. We get 6 eighth. So we see that 1 eighth plus 5 eighth is equal to 1 plus 5 over 8 which equals 6 over 8. If we reduce 6 over 8, we get 3 over 4. Did you notice what's happening? We are just adding the numerators. And we can only do this when the denominators are the same. Now let's do one without pictures. 2 over 9 plus 3 over 9. Since the denominators are the same, we can simply add the numerator. Therefore, we have the numerator as 2 plus 3 and the denominator remains 9. Hence, the answer is 5 over 9. Now, let's try and add two fractions which have different denominators. It's easy once you do a couple of examples. Let's add half and one third. We can add the numerator only if the denominators are the same. So, how do we make the denominator same? The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. So, 6 which is the LCM is our new denominator. Change the first number half so that it has 6 as the denominator. And change the second number one third so that it has 6 as the denominator. Now that we have the same denominators, we can simply add the numerators. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So the answer is 5 over 6. Wow! Can we try one more? Alright! Let's add 3 fifths plus 2 ninths. LCM of 5 and 9 is 45. Change the first number 3 fifths so that it has 45 as the denominator. And change the second number 2 ninths so that it has 45 as the denominator. Now that we have the same denominators, we can simply add the numerators. 27 plus 10 equals 37. So the answer is 37 over 45. Try 2 third plus 2 seventh. 
equals how much? Now, why don't you pause this video for a minute and work through the problem and when you are done, continue to check your answer. I'm sure you got the answer. It is hmm, 20 over 21. Let's work through this real quick. The LCM is 21. Therefore, 2 multiplied by 7 equals 14 plus 2 multiplied by 3 equals 6. 